January 26, 2006, the Islamic resistance movement Hamas marches its way to victory in the Palestinian elections for parliament. But very little is known about this organization's ideology. What is Hamas? The signing of the Oslo Accords on the 26th of October 1994 presented an historic opportunity for bringing an end to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. However, on the morning of February 25th, 1996, Hamas shattered this nascent dream and instead ushered in an era of unrelenting terror. With over 3,000 attacks in 2005 alone, Hamas has left in its wake thousands of victims who have been killed or maimed in a flow of endless bloodshed. Established in late 1987, Hamas is the Palestinian branch of the Muslim Brotherhood. This Islamist organization is subdivided into military, welfare and religious arms. Hamas's charter, ratified in 1988, sets forth the organization's ideology that clearly states, Israel will rise and will remain erect until Islam eliminates it. Peace initiatives, the so-called peaceful solutions, are all contrary to the beliefs of the Islamic resistance movement. There is no solution to the Palestinian problem except by jihad. The various operations carried out by Hamas resemble those of similar religious Islamic terrorist organizations, all of which demonstrate a blanket allegiance to the laws stipulated in their respective charters. Dismissing any attempts to reach a peaceful solution, Hamas is an Islamic resistance movement, blindly adhering to the cause of armed struggle and refusing to submit to international pressure to recognize and negotiate with the State of Israel. The future for the Palestinian and Israeli peoples calls for an end to violence and the adoption of a two-state solution. This aim can only be achieved if future Palestinian governments commit themselves to non-violence, accept previous bilateral agreements and obligations, including the roadmap, and recognize Israel's inalienable right to exist.